right. This next movie review is for the film Seventeen Again with Zach Efron in. You know, this movie probably published for all those Zach fans because he was all the rage and he to uh, years back before Robert Pattinson came on the scene. Zach, he's a little boy. Now my Rob, he is a man. No one can compete with him. So a little description about the film. Uh, God, it's so boring. I can't even be bothered. If you somehow had the chance, would you do your life over? Thirty something Mike O'Donnell would, and that's that Chandler from Friends. Then one mysteriously magical moment, Mike gets his chance. He's suddenly back at Hayden High, where he's the star of the basketball team, a total hearty and a classmate to his own teenage kids, which gives Mike a chance to go from not so good dad to really cool friend. Um, Zach Efron and Matthew Perry are 17 again and fabulously funny as the younger and older Mike in a good time time warp comedy that proves the best year of your life is the one you live in right now. Well, what I've got to say about this movie is that I found it really childish, which, uh, you know, I wasn't expecting. I was looking forward to seeing this movie, and then I saw it, and I thought, oh, Zach looked fit in it, but apart from that, I would never watch it again, unless you want to offer me a million pounds. And then if you go on my Facebook page, you can see what I spend that money on. <laughs> How much do I spend on this? So, um, yeah, I just found it really dull, really childish and really disappointing. You know, with, is it like um, the Hannah Montana movie that I watched? Like a childish jokes that are not funny. Like, you know, little five-year-olds might find them funny, but I don't. And the story was just so predictable. Oh, Zach, playing basketball, is it like High School Musical? You know, his character does exactly the same as the one in High School Musical, really. All the girls swooning over him as if he's the only nice-looking bloke in the world. Like, I would not recommend you or for anyone. Don't buy it for anyone. Don't buy it for yourself, even if it's a pound. You know, if you fancy Zach, then you'd probably enjoy it, but... You know, even then you'd find it odd to watch. You know, don't do it. Don't watch it. It's boring. I would give it one out to five. It's all it deserves. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the movie in the comment box down below.